One very important aspect to know when you're starting any new job is what is the work-life balance like? Are you going to have time for a social life, to see your friends, to see your family? Work isn't everything and it's really great to know how much this job will take up your life. So stay tuned on today's video where I'm going to discuss the work-life balance experiences I've had during my bioinformatics career journey. Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Genomics with Georgia. This is my little space on the internet where I share with you guys everything I'm learning in my bioinformatics career journey. Today's video, we're going to be discussing work-life balance and well, why is this important? So when you're going to enter into any career, that career should never take over your life. And it's really great to know whether that job will take over your life or not. Personally, I've worked in three different bioinformatics spaces and I've worked during lockdown. So all working from home and I've worked after lockdown. So going back into the office more. So I think I've got quite a nice breadth of experience to share in terms of what does work-life balance look like in a bioinformatics role? So as any of these videos are hopefully showing you, there is much variety in the terms of kind of job opportunities, work environments you can be in. So all I can do today is just explain to you the kind of environments that I've witnessed and what work-life balance looks like for a bioinformatician. So when we define work-life balance, we're talking about still being able to meet your deadlines at work while still having time for a life outside of work. Whether this is your social life, family commitments, etc., it's basically meaning, do you still have time as a bioinformatician outside of work to have a life? <laughs> and the question is, well, like, yes, and you definitely should. And, and if you don't, that's a toxic work culture and you shouldn't be in that environment. But in my experience, you definitely can have a work-life balance in this field. So let's go on to discuss kind of what that looks like as a bioinformatician. So the strange thing about this career is because of the nature of the work, it is quite prone to environments where you could potentially not have a work-life balance. And it's really good to be aware of this and then be very strong in your career to kind of set your boundaries and make sure that you don't let work consume your life. So why is it prone you know, to negative work-life balance scenarios? And I think this is because as a bioinformatician, we can do our job from anywhere in the world. We can do our job at any time. All we have to do is open up our computer, tunnel into the machine that we're working on, and we can work at any time, anywhere. But the really crucial thing about a career as a bioinformatician, just because you can, does not mean you should. So what do we mean by this? So when I think back to my kind of first full-time job, I started this in 2020. So, you know, premium lockdown energy, uh, completely working from home, didn't even go into my office for the first eight months of my job. So was completely working from home. And when you're working from home, I think as we oh, fucking lost my jar now. Did even go into the office for like the first eight to nine months of my first job. So yeah, completely working from home. This showed me the dangers of maintaining a work-life balance in a bioinformatics career. The beauty of our job is the fact that it's so flexible. You can work from anywhere and COVID was, you know, a very fortunate time for people who worked in jobs like bioinformatics because you can still do your job from home, you know, and a lot of people didn't have that opportunity. It was very, very good for still having that. But however, when you're working from home, it's very difficult to stop working at a certain time because you can't leave work at the office. Your kind of home environment becomes work and, you know, life. There's no boundaries there. From my experience, there was no pressure to work late, but because I loved my job so much and I hadn't, I wasn't mature enough to set myself boundaries, I definitely would work during the day and then, you know, switch off for a bit at like five, six, make some food and then continue working all evening, just like on the sofa. But I think as long as you set your boundaries, 
and you're working from home it's okay but just being aware that there is that tendency and capability in a lot of people to not stop working and just to keep working at home and yeah bioinformaticians prone to that and especially because i feel in this space we really care about the work that we're doing you know you're very you know i mean i feel like i'm emotionally connected to the work we're doing but just me but i feel like because we're very invested in the work that we do it's very easy to just work in the evening because you're like this problem really matters and like i really want to solve it now rather than at 9 a.m so very easy to work late but haven't really had the you know the expectation to it's more it's easily done and also because it's easily done sometimes other people might be working late and then that can put pressure on you to then you know be doing the same hours but as long as your kind of workplace is not enforcing you or expecting you to work late then that's absolutely fine that you have boundaries and you say I'm only contracted till this time and if I'm hitting my work objectives there's no problem with you like clocking off at your correct time as long as you're getting all your work done. Yeah you've got to remember that so pre-covid everyone even bioinformaticians usually were in the office and then covid happened we had a whole digital nomad revelation and suddenly everyone's picking up their laptops and heading off to bali or well heading off to vancouver in my case but then everyone kind of realized that they could work remotely and then following you know the end of you know stressful lockdown periods people started going back to the office and i think going back to the office and working in a hybrid model was actually very good for work-life balance. I think sometimes when you're completely working remotely, it's very difficult to set those boundaries, even if you try. Whereas, yeah, when you're in the office, it means that you go to the office at a certain time, you start your work, you work your whole day, and then you finish your, you know, shift. Well, you finish your day at work and then head on home. And it means that, especially in the bioinformatics space, you can leave those work problems and, you know, things you need to solve at the office, you can go home and very much easier to have that distinction between work and life, which is a very important distinction that everyone should have. In my previous workplace, um, yeah, it would get to about quarter past five and the place was a ghost town because the culture was everyone leaves at five, we're all going home, <laughs> uh, no one's staying late. So yeah, I think from my experience, there hasn't really been a working late culture in the office but yeah the danger of bioinformatics is when you do get home and it's your choice to do this you can pick up your laptop you can tunnel into your machine and you can grab up all your data and you can keep working in the evening and it's kind of nice sometimes that you've got the option you know if you're behind on something or there's something you really want to like finish before the next day you do have the option when you come home to tunnel into your machine and keep working but it's kind of not the expectation it's like there's a temptation <laughs> to do it um which yeah it's kind of nice in some ways but yeah it can be dangerous if you're not strict with your time and then obviously nowadays some jobs are completely in the office for bioinformatics uh my current new job is like that so yeah mainly in the office every day and again i think i stress that having time in the office is very good for work-life balance because it means that you're coming in at a certain time, you know that you're at work and then you leave work behind and you go over to your life. So yeah, uh, very, very pro office working at the moment. And once I've kind of had more time in my office bioinformatics life, I'll definitely share the kind of pros and cons of office life versus working remotely life. But in terms of work-life balance, so far I think office life is better for that because you know when you're at work, people aren't really staying that late and then you know that when you're not in the office it's fun time so that's really good and then just to kind of round things off i think it's very very key to remember and to drill home that in bioinformatics we have so much flexibility and it's amazing so sometimes a lot of people who have office jobs who can work from home they can't really do much in the evening because they're their jobs are centered around a lot of like interaction and i think in bioinformatics i have stressed this before you do obviously collaborate and you talk and you discuss and you work in teams but there is a lot of coding work that you do and you often do that in you know on your own so it's actually really nice in the evening 
if you want to like really get some coding done, maybe you've got a sudden burst of energy, you can like smash out some coding. It's in the evening, it's very nice, you know, no one's distracting you. Like it is nice, you can do that. But yeah, the danger is the fact that just because you can work uh, from anywhere, whenever, doesn't mean that you should work, you know, everywhere all the time. You need to make sure that you set those boundaries. We're very lucky that we can be so flexible, but I think it's up to the individual to make sure that they are in charge of their boundaries in terms of separating work and life. And in my experience, through my whole of my bioinformatics career, I have not sacrificed my social life and my family commitments uh, in order to have my career. I think I've very much balanced the two. And just because you have a career in bioinformatics, that doesn't mean that you won't have time for a social life and fun and, you know, seeing the people that you love. So definitely you can have them both. Just make sure you set your boundaries. So that's it for today's quick video on work-life balance in bioinformatics. If you've liked today's content, give me a subscribe to see some more and then give this video a like if it's been helpful. Comment down below anything else you'd like to learn about and I'll see you next time for another episode of Genomics with Georgia. Bye!